all right welcome back to another video the first video went crazy so now we're gonna do a follow-up where we color grade this video and i want to show you um how to go about color grading real estate shots because it's not like music videos where like, you have the room to be as i want to say fantasy like with the videos with these videos you need them to be true to life just like how the actual place looks you're going to need the video to represent that you don't want to have you know the sky and stuff looking weird and you know all that crazy stuff going on we need it to look as true to life as possible so this video is going to be a little different as far as color grading i'm going to show you how to try and get the best natural tone look because that's what you're going to need to sell these listings all right so here we have our shot of course Let's go to window workspace and color and that's going to set you up make sure you pull open your lumetri scopes it's going to help you this is basically your histogram and your color tune all that in basically one to help you you know just flow a lot better so i'm going to pull open this basic color correction and this is where we're going to you know start to bring back our footage so if you notice here on the left you know this is where we need to be focused on this is telling me from just looking at this is we have a balance shot and that's perfect because that's where you want to start from make sure you start with a balance shot you feel me so if you look if i turn it to the right you see how the red pops up and if you turn it to the left you see how the blue pops up so to get it balanced, you need that to be in the middle. So just keep that in mind whenever you color grading, color correcting. That's how you, you know, balance out your shot. Now I want to start adjusting the tones and stuff like that and just basically run you through how I go about doing it. Now I do have many videos on color grading. In each video, I try to give you some, a little different perspective so you can understand it a little better. So I'm going to jump over here to the contrast. And I'm going to just crank this all the way up. It ain't no like specific number you need to be using. Just crank it up until it looks good and adjust it until it looks better. You feel me? That's, that's all I do. This is the outside shot, right? So, you know, this just need to represent, you know, daytime outside how that, you know, how it looks at that time. So I want to pull this up just a little bit, not too much, just a little bit where, I, you know, we get a little bit more light in there. All right, that's perfect. So I want to, I like, I like full numbers. I don't like all numbers. So I'm going to go straight to the 70, crank that there. That's perfect. Now the highlight, look over here to the left. So for us to go ahead and fix this, we just go to the highlights and we could bring this down until it looks about right. Or we could crank this up until it looks about right. Any way you want it. But bear in mind, this 100 to 80 zone is like almost max brightness. So you're not really going to notice it if you like in a brightly lit room. But if you was color grading like in a dark room, you're going to notice this is going to be a, a really bright shot. So you want to keep that in mind. If you're going to be in a dark room color grading, that's going to be a really bright shot. Like it's really going to punch out. You're going to notice it then. You might not notice it in a bright, if you're color grading like in an open room, all, you know, all the windows, doors, everything open, you're not going to notice it. But as you switch different scenes, because especially with real estate, you're going from in, inside, outside, you're going to notice how strong that is. So Bear in mind and, and just try to keep it in a range that, you know, it ain't looking too, too overblown. So now that I bring it down a little bit, I think I might just bring the highlights up. Because I do want it to represent daytime. But, you know, bearing in mind that I don't want it to be as strong. Now we're starting to make our little adjustments. So the number's looking all over the place. But this really just depends on, you know, the situation. Don't just think this works. This don't work for every situation. You feel me? So let's go ahead with the shadows. Sometimes I raise the shadows just depending on if, like if I can't see or if I want to see a little more, you know, atmosphere of the video, I'll raise the shadows. If I don't want to, I'll bring them down. But bearing in mind, this is not a music video, so it can't be too contrasty. Like we want people to see, you know, what this place has to offer. So you got to highlight everything as possible you feel me so with the whites the whites are similar to the highlights you bring them down it'll bring all the white areas down you push it up it'll push all the white areas up that's good for like finalizing your look that's why it's at the bottom and the blacks is basically the opposite so finalize your darks finalize your where you want them to sit for me to have a cinematic look bear in mind like keep keep your eyes over here as you move in these um dials you don't want your blacks to be on zero. If you're color grading with a nice screen, you're going to notice the errors in these stuff. That's why it's best to keep a little room because depending on the person, where they're watching, how they're watching, they might be using a nice screen. 
they be, might be looking at your video on a nice display and that's you know what i mean they're gonna see everything you can't see on your little cheap screen so keep that in mind also so that's why you want to follow these guys because people viewing these stuff on different devices once it's not on zero that's fine for me if you want it to be a little darker i'll show you how you could go about that later so let's go over here to creative as far as like applying LUTs, I'll, I'll show you how to go about that but let's let's just adjust this first so i just add a little bit of saturation and i do that just to you know because i want everything to look lively you know I, this is not a scary movie this is not a fantasy video this is a real true to life situation so we need this to represent true to life so i just add a little bit of saturation that's fine come down here to curves I add those two points over here in this zone is highlights over here down here is blacks. Keep that in mind. So I just find a good mix. Bend this like that. You see, let me turn it off so you can see what just happened. So, you know, I just, you know, just to add a little bit because we have space for it. Like I'm, I'm considering the fact that we have room in here to, to do that. So, you know, if I was to go crazy and pull this all the way over here, you see, you, you see what happens, right? So, yeah, you don't do that shit. All right, perfect. So yeah, just a little bit of that. That's fine. No vignette. You, this is not. This is not that kind of video. I mean, you could if you want. Don't go crazy with it. You ain't really gotta go crazy with it. Honestly, I think you know this ain't a music video, so I wouldn't really do that because you're gonna make this come off a little bit. Maybe if you was highlighting it from a different perspective, more lifestyle and less odd light. Maybe yeah, but for the most part, just keep it keep it true, as true as possible. Now, you know, slight, a slight vignette, that's fine. Just turn it off and on. So you can't really notice it. So that's fine. I think for the most part, that's fine. Before we add the light and all that, you know, good stuff, I want to show you how you go about bringing this over to... So I come over here to where we apply those corrections. I copy this. Then I come over to the next shot. As you can see, the next shot is similar. So I could just copy and paste this and walk away knowing that you know, that's perfect. I ain't got to do, you know, because it's outside. It's still outside, different angle, so it's going to look the same. So let's turn this off so you can see what this looks like before and after. So this before, you know, nice and dull. This after, boom, nice and perfect. We could also look at the Lumetri scopes and determine that, hey, seeing that this is a different angle, do we want to raise, you know, the highlights some more? If we notice, we see our blues over there looking a little bit too strong. To fix that, and I glad it like that so I can show you how to fix that. Come over here to your curves. Come over here to this blue curve. Add a point somewhere near the center, or the center is fine. And bring this down. And if you notice, like how the blue is starting to come down. So this how you adjust like personal colors like that. You know, if, if you have a strong color that's punching. But for the most part, I'm going to leave it right there like how that looks so let's turn this off turn it back on you feel me you see how you know you see how much yeah this is how we do it so let's go over to the next shot now the next shot is an inside shot i'm gonna do what a lot of you might be doing and that's just dropping you know your copy onto an inside shot and again if you do that you're neglecting the fact that this is now inside so inside is going to have a different contrast, a different brightness. So you can't just, you know, drop it on and think, oh, well, yeah, you you perfect. No, this is inside. So now you got to consider that. So what's the brightness of inside? How do how do we go about um, determining that? Again, we want to use our scopes. We notice that, you know, we have some whites clipping. I guess that's the windows and the light because, you know, inside are usually more shadowy light and you can't just... I mean, if you have a good camera, I guess you could just raise your shadows and tell, you know, it fix or counter the fact that you stop blowing out. But they don't shoot with good, good cameras that has that dynamic range to pull your shadows all the way up. I think I shot this video on a Nikon and Nikon is pretty, pretty solid when it comes to like shadow stuff. So I could bring this down if I want so it don't clip and then I could raise the shadows to balance it is what I'm essentially saying to you. So you could go beyond 100 but only if you have a, a good camera, because again, someone viewing this on a different device, they're going to notice like, hold on, hold on, what the shit, what the hell? You feel me? So only if you have a good camera and you trust and you know your camera that good, I would recommend doing that. So that's how you balance that. Inside won't be bright as outside, so bear that in mind as well. So you want this to look true to life. So as you see, let's turn this off. You feel me? Look at that. Yes, sir. True to life. That's what we want when it comes to real estate listings.
So let's go over to our final shot. And our final shot is a inside shot as well. So we're going to drop our copy right onto this. And look at that. See, now it's more consistent because we, we didn't copy an outside shot onto our inside shot. We, we adjust our inside shot to another inside shot. And that's why it, it flows. Like it ha has a better consistent flow. And that's what you want. If we want to be, you know, tedious, we could say, well, you know, there's a lot of red and we could counter that by pushing, you know, the blue in there if we want to balance it. I mean, like if you want to do that, that's fine. But I bear in mind that the lights in this room is warm and you want, you know, the person who viewing this to have a warm feeling. Right. So, yeah, it doesn't matter if it, you know, too, you know, or if it's leaning more towards warm, you should want that. I feel like only if you're really going crazy with the color grading and stuff like that, you wouldn't want it as warm. But I mean, the the lights set that tone already, so I, I wouldn't I wouldn't move that. What I would do is probably add some contrast from the curves. I would probably do this right, just so we have a little a more balanced atmospheric room. I mean, it, you don't really have to, but I feel like that's my type of thing. So I yeah, I, I'll do it. So perfect. So let's turn this off, turn this back on. And yeah, you could see we have, I want to play this, but I, I don't want to have any playback trouble. So that just turning it off and on is, is fine just so you get the point. But I'll, I'll render out the video and play it within this video so you see, you know, the before and after. Yeah, you guys let me know. So that's how you go about it. From this point, all your shots going to be basically the same. It's going to be a mixture between in and out. So then you could just say, okay, if you color grade in an inside shot, you take it from, you know, the clip you already did and apply it onto the second one, make your slight adjustments. If you color grade in an outside clip, you copy the first clip that you adjusted and that's, that's it. That's it. And you'll have a consistent video, a consistent looking video. And that's, that's what you want. But these videos, it's simple, it's straightforward. And I hope this video, you know, help you to understand it a little better. You guys, let me know. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. We didn't add the LUT. Should we add the LUT? I'll add the LUT. I, I wanted to mention, um, when you're adding these LUTs on videos like this, don't go overboard because you're going to ruin it. These are not videos for LUTs. Let me show you how I do it. So maybe, you know, you do it like that. Just go to Windows, go to Workspace, go to Editing. All right, so now I want to show you how I add LUTs onto these videos. If I do, more than likely I won't. But I, I got some pretty nice LUTs. And I want to show them off so you guys pick them out and support this channel. It's only right that you do, you know, you over here anyway. All right. So to apply your LUT, make your adjustment layer, come over, switch back to color. And we're going to apply our LUT. Come over here to creative and let's look for a LUT to apply the, this. All right, guys. So I want you to go and check out this LUT pack. This LUT pack is perfect for these kind of um, situations because the LUTs aren't as dramatic. That's why I have them separated because some LUTs are not designed to be as dramatic. Be sure to check them out. So I could get away with this, right? But I'm going to show you how to like, you know, relax a little bit. You don't, you know, you don't have to go all the way. You know, you could chill out a little bit and just take your time and, you know, flow. Let's apply the LUT and you could see like, of course, it already, you went from boring to, to sway graphics you feel me and that's cool that's cool you know I, i'll give you that that's cool. you could get away with this if you're using these lots you could get away with it i, I ain't gonna lie that, that shit look good <laughs> you could get away with it maybe if it's my lot pot yeah cool but if you're using other people lots come in a lot you know weak weaker than than that so if you do apply lots of these videos and it's not they they're not good apply them in a weak state you know where where it don't really you know fool with the footage too much but if you have these premium LUTs you could turn that up you feel me you could turn that up and you can see that I'll rent out this video and, and show them side by side and you choose you feel me you, you choose you tell me what you prefer but I I don't know if I would apply a LUT onto the final footage maybe maybe I guess maybe I don't know maybe you would I don't know if I really would do that if I would, it'll probably be at 50%, just so I don't feel like it's there, but it's there. I'll probably just do that. But if you're going to apply a LUT, make sure it's at 50%. That's fine. If it's a good LUT, like my own, then you could turn it up and however it's clever. But for the most part, this is how you go about color grading real estate videos. Um, I want to turn this off. 
I do see where this you know shot came from. The light actually does look better because, see, I designed them to make things look better. That's that's the problem. I designed them to make things look greater, so you could kind of win when you're using my stuff. But if you was to you know be freaking out on your own and trying to you know you're gonna ruin your stuff, you gotta keep it basic. But let me know what you guys think about these shots that I did a good job. Were you able to understand this to do this yourself? Yeah, let me know. Be sure to leave a like on this video. Subscribe for more. If you do want to support this channel, visit the description and check out my LUTs. Check out my packs. I didn't make them for you not to use them. I want you guys to use them and represent and let people know that I hooked you up. You feel me? So that's the least you guys can do. I'll keep these videos coming. You do your part. I do my part. And you make this all, you know, one big movement. You feel me? Let me know what you guys think. And I'm out.